Oh my gosh, you guys, I literally almost set the house on fire. Everything changed when you came alive. So I went to the gym this morning when I came home. The power was off at the house because we forgot to pay the electric bill because we're dumb. And so whatever, like I paid it and everything and I had started to make breakfast but then realized obviously like the stove doesn't work. But I didn't realize I left it on. So then when I was doing my hair, I had my Dyson and I couldn't, um, like I couldn't hear anything. And then I come out and I was like, why is it so smoky? Um, because I'm setting my house on fire. That's why, like I, I feel so dumb and I'm like running late for an event right now. And I'm like, my house is like super smoky and the alarm was going off, luckily I turned it off. But I'm like, oh my God, I almost left without doing my hair, but I'm so glad I didn't. And it's just, ugh, it's so smoky. And I'm like, what? Today has just been like all over the place, honestly. Like, and my voice is so shot from singing. Ugh, okay, life, craziness, wild times. Okay, but I'm gonna try and get to this event. It's like a, um, it's basically like a pop music event for Nashville artists. So I really hope I can like meet some people and, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Happy Monday. Hello loves, I feel like I totally left you guys just hanging after yesterday. Do you hear my voice? Oh my God. And yeah, I went to this, so I almost had my house on fire, which was totally fun. That was great, I was very happy for myself. <laughs> yesterday was a weird day, like so much was going on and I was like, I don't even, I don't even know. That's all I know. I should have vlogged more yesterday because yesterday was just like the electricity went out, so I'm getting my house on fire. Um, and then I had this like Nashville pop music meeting, like meeting other people that are in like the pop scene here. That was actually really, really cool. But I was rushing and I was just like, oh my God, I don't know what's going on. I need to eat right now. I feel like I'm like all over the place. But I want to vlog before like I forget and then I go through my day and I'm like, what am I doing with myself? I feel like I've been very, very scattered brain lately. And then after the event, like I literally just came home and I was so tired because I went to bed at four in the morning after getting off from doing my gigs in on Broadway. And I woke up at 8.30, like no problem. But then I realized, oh, I only, like I legit only slept four hours. So I was like, I need to just go to bed early and then I couldn't fall asleep and my voice is shot, but it's all good. Today is Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's Day. I'm not wearing anything festive. Um, I should be though. Mark actually sent me some roses. They got here last night and they're so pretty. I love him so much. Let me show you guys. He got me two dozen, but they don't fit in like one thing. So I put them in a second one <laughs> and I just squeeze, I just put them together. So they look like they're one big bunch, but it's Valentine's Day. And I decided today I wanted to try out Body Rocks, which is like a Pilates reformer class here in Nashville. I think they have it in other cities as well. And I accidentally signed up for Class Pass. And well, I signed up for Class Pass and you get like a first free month. Didn't go to any classes in January. And then I forgot to cancel it. It charged me for another month and I was like, well now I actually have to go to a class, but I'm glad I I'm glad I went. And then they also have like massages and facials and things like that. So I was looking at like some of the other services and I was like, oh, a facial would be fabulous and I could probably do a massage and then probably another class and like those would be pretty much all my credits depending on what I decide. But I went to a Pilates class and that was really fun. It was kind of short, I felt. Like I still went and did cardio beforehand, but I was like, I wish this was a little bit longer because it's 40 minutes, but it was painful and it was great and it was good. And the teacher was awesome. She was really, she was really cool. And then I went to Target for a bit, which is crazy. I haven't been to Target in a hot minute, which is just unlike me, but if you, it's just very unlike me, but I did make a resolution to like, shop less and like buy less unnecessary things and really be better with my money this year because your girl likes to shop. But I feel like I have kind of broken that habit in a sense. Like I will still get very tempted to shop, but I've been telling myself like every day, 
you don't need it. You have a closet full of clothing. You like, you don't need it unless it's something I actually need, which is like groceries and, you know, products, like house things, like anything like that. I'm like, okay, I'm down with that. And it's actually really, really helped. I'm so proud of myself because I didn't buy anything unnecessary at Target. I just bought Kleenex, which is a necessity. Protein bars, I was starving. Some throat cut tea. This is like the best tea if you're a singer or if your throat hurts, amazing. And I was running out because I drank so much tea this weekend. So I was like, I need to always have this in stock for sure. And yeah. I was pretty shocked. And batteries, and I bought batteries, which I need for my like, microphone and music stuff. But I still somehow managed to spend 50 bucks. <laughs> and that's only buying necessities, which is wild. But I'm gonna make some breakfast. I'm probably gonna edit this vlog because I feel like I've been vlogging for a while and I'm like, I think I have like more than enough footage. So it's gonna be like kind of a long vlog. But yeah. I have an audition tomorrow for another band for the whole Broadway thing, so I'm gonna go over some music today and and do that. Yeah, okay. Okay. I am feeling a little anxious right now. I don't know why. I think I just do this to myself. But I had breakfast. Oh my god, I, just, I think I just need to chill out. I think I just need to relax my ass. Just got really overwhelmed for like no reason. <laughs> I think because I'm going through this like shift of schedule and staying up late and still wanting to like go work out and eat healthy and like I'm expecting myself to have as much energy as I did before and I know it's like barely my first weekend but I'm already playing again tomorrow with a different band to audition for them. So I'm just kind of like I need to rest, but I need to practice, and then I also need to get other stuff done as well. Like, it's a whole thing. I honestly feel like I could go to bed right now. I might take a quick nap, but I'm gonna do some editing on my laptop. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna edit this vlog. I don't know if this will be this vlog or like the next vlog, but I'm gonna edit something because I need to get a video out today. <clears throat> I'm just tired. I'm tired in like a weird way though. I don't even know, guys. <laughs> I just need to breathe, I think. I think I just need to breathe. And I can't because my damn voice. sun is like not setting yet but it's going too soon so I'm just taking advantage of this lighting right now um, today is Friday have not picked up the camera since I last vlogged whatever day that was maybe it was the day that I almost set my house on fire which was fun good times for me but it's Friday just found out that I'm gonna be singing all weekend again tend to close downtown so that's gonna be fun um, 10 to close means 10 to 2.30, which means I'll be home at three in the morning, which hope be means, which means I'll go to bed at four in the morning, which is not ideal, but just going with it right now, just going with it. Um, I actually had brunch with a girlfriend earlier and then I stopped by a guitar center and I bought some, oh my gosh, okay, now the lighting does not look good. <laughs> so I went to brunch with a girlfriend and then I stopped by guitar center and I actually picked up some new in-ears, which, these are like lifesavers for singers. Um, basically, if you're a singer and you don't have in-ears, get your life together. They like they like block out all the noise, like if you're performing with a live band. And if you're performing in a big venue, people screaming, talking, singing, all that stuff, they kind of block out all the noise so you can like really just hear yourself. Move this, yeah. Okay, lighting. Lighting is getting crazy. So, yeah, I stopped. I do have to get in-ears that are like made for me because all of them fall out of my ears, but these hopefully will get me through. These are the Sure 215 um, in-ears that I guess a lot of people use from what I've heard. I'm new to the in-ear game, but 
now that I'm in it, I'm pretty happy about it. Oh, also wanted to share with you guys. So my water bottle broke the other day at the gym and I'm just big on water consumption, obviously. So I ordered this nice big tumbler. I know that the Stanley Cup is so popular, but it's never in stock, at least in the color that I want it. And it's also like kind of expensive. And I'm just like, it's just a water bottle. Like, why are we, why are we freaking out over a water bottle? But this one was like 25 bucks, which is still a little pricey, but it's 40 ounces. And I've drank so much water, even more water than my other water bottle, probably because it has an easier straw to get through. It's by Hydroflow. I got it on Amazon. So I'll link it down below if you guys want to check that out. I'm just sharing you guys with you guys like all the things that I've been buying as a singer. Um, I got this in like nebulizer. It's supposed to help hydrate your vocals. I've been vocal steaming as well, which I showed you guys in my last vlog. That's been helping a lot. I've been dealing with some allergies, congestion. I'm not really sure what it is. Not me always looking to see what the neighbors are doing. So I got this nebulizer. It's supposed to hydrate your vocals. You turn it on. I don't really know if I'm using it right. <coughs> I don't think I'm using it right. I don't know if I'm even using it right, but yes. So I'm actually gonna go check out another venue before my gig tonight. It's called Electric Jane. And it's more like a, like a, not a jazz club, but it's more like, like a low, not like more intimate space vibe. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's a super cute place. I actually had a meeting yesterday with the manager and I'm gonna go check it out, see the show. Maybe I'll be singing there. I do like singing on Broadway, but I feel like because I don't do country music, I mean, even though I'm singing like Whitney Houston and Paramore and like, we're singing a variety. It's not only country, but I think being in a venue that is like more my vibe and space would be better for me. I'm just kind of doing everything that I can right now. Like I'm just trying different things and seeing what works so that I have a better idea of like what I actually wanna do and where I wanna perform and you know, energy, time-wise, money-wise, like all of the things. So it's been a learning process. A Couple hours later, obviously, I just need to put on some lipstick, but let me show you guys my outfit. Pink pants and some nude boots. This is it, yes. So I'm gonna head over to that one show. My voice is not 100%, but we're going with it. That's what we're doing. Hello, sunshines. It has been a hot minute since I picked up the camera. I feel like I say that every single time I start vlogging. So today is Tuesday the 21st, February 21st. Where has the month gone? I have no idea. Yesterday, I definitely had a mental breakdown. <laughs> like I definitely died. Um, I, this past weekend I performed all weekend and it was a lot of fun, but I was going to bed at five in the morning every day and then waking up at like 11 or 12. And so I think it all just hit me yesterday and I pretty much died. Yeah, I just, I feel like I died. And now I'm back to life. Like I, I don't, I couldn't tell you the last time I woke up that late or went to bed that late or just spent the whole day in bed basically. I had tried to go to the gym and just wasn't a thing, which is fine because I really just needed rest. Um, I'm feeling a lot better today. I'm definitely like, I need to pace myself and my energy. Like I need to take care of myself. But I'm super excited because it's a beautiful day here in Nashville. And I'm actually here at Skin Farm and I'm gonna get some Botox, which I really do need. I'm wearing makeup and I feel like when I'm wearing makeup, you can't tell, but I need it. And I'm so excited. It's my first time here. I actually got some of their products through like an influencer event, which is really cool. And I've been using them and I really like them. So I'm excited to go check out the spot and I'll probably vlog on my camera. I mean, on my phone so that I can show you guys what it looks like and like the process and everything. I'm definitely gonna make like a TikTok or something about it. But yeah, I just thought I really feel like vlogging and creating today. So I like really like to take advantage of all that. So let's go inside.
Good morning, y'all. It is the next day. I got my Botox, or it's two days later. Wow. I've been all over the place. I feel like ever since I started going to bed at five in the morning, <laughs> not every night, but my schedule has just been so messed up. Today is Thursday, February 23rd. And I just, it's like gorgeous out. Like I just journaled on the porch in the sunlight. I'll show you guys right now. It is just beautiful out. But I'm gonna go to the gym. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna run a couple errands. And then honestly, this house is a disaster and I need to do like a good cleaning. You know those days where you're just like, I need to <laughs> put all this away and kind of get prepped for the weekend because I'm performing all weekend. So I'd, I think I'll take most of the day to kind of like, not most of the day, but yeah, like just clean up, just to like clean the bathroom, clean the kitchen, vacuum, do all that fun stuff because I have been slacking it. I'm using the Urban Decay Stay Naked Quickie Concealer. Um, I really like it because it's just, I just put like a little bit before the gym um, so I don't look completely crazy. Um, and I feel like my skin, I haven't been tanning as much and so I feel like my skin is like white, like translucent. <laughs> Hello from my kitchen. It's a couple hours later. I was on a cleaning frenzy earlier today because the house has been a mess. I've been a mess. It's been a shift. It's been a shift. I'm debating if I want to make some chicken right now or just eat some fruit, but I feel like I should make some chicken. So we're going to do that. Today's weather has been fantastic and yesterday. Yesterday was like 75. Today's been like 80. All the windows are open. Like I'm just like fresh air. I'm wearing shorts right now. I'm wearing literal shorts. Like I'm like, okay, summer's here. Winter's done. We're done with her. And um, yeah, the sun is going down, but I don't want to turn on the lights yet. I feel like I have enough light. Pretty much what I do every single week is I just get like chicken breast and I season it and I put it in the oven at like 375 for about 45 to 55 minutes, depending, depending on what I think of that day. I feel like I've been so busy lately with gigs and kind of learning the whole situation on that end that I really, my cooking and food wise is literally for nutrition. Especially with Mark gone the whole month, it's truly like just me and I pretty much eat, I wanna say like twice a day and a snack kind of my pattern that I've noticed lately. If I'm hungrier, then I'll eat more. If I'm not, then just go with it. But this chicken will last me a good amount of time. And they're such big pieces that I don't eat like the whole thing. I'll kind of do like, um, like half of it or three fourths and then use the rest for, like maybe for breakfast, like with my eggs or something. So it lasts me a good while. Which is nice because, which is nice just because I haven't had so much time to like cook and I'm trying not to eat out too much. I'm trying to stay as healthy as possible. Quick update on like the whole Broadway performances. They've been going really well. This past weekend was intense because it was all shifts 10 to close. So 10 to 2.30. And then by the time I get home, it's like 3.30. And then by the time I go to sleep, it's five in the morning. And honestly, Monday, I would just kind of have like a mental breakdown because I was like, I don't know if this life is for me. Like, I'm just like not 22 and trying to like stay out all night. Okay, I just got a phone call about performing in, back in El Paso for some gigs. I actually did a gig with this uh, family last year, right when I moved and they want to hire me again in April, which is pretty cool because I haven't been to El Paso since December. And I think I needed a good break from going back so much but now i'm like i want to go get my hair done and i want to see my friends and my family um so i'm like okay that's good I forgot where i was i already put the chicken in i put it in for okay i just put the chicken in for 50 minutes and then i just made a bowl of a fruit oh i should add some nuts i feel i love these little packets from trader joe's um they're like snack packs because 
I will tend to overeat the nuts for sure. Up like today I woke up at 10, which is so late, but I went to bed at like one because I sang last night. So I'm just giving myself that grace of like figuring out what my schedule is going to be, or it might be kind of all over the place for a little bit. And you know, if I wake up later in the day, that doesn't mean like the full day is gone. But I will say like Monday, Monday was just a rough day. Like it was just not my day, which is fine. Like. We all have those days, but Monday was rough. And Monday I woke up at noon, which is so insane. Like, I can't remember the last time I woke up at noon. I couldn't tell you. But three days in a row of going to bed at 5 a.m., obviously, we'll do that to you. Okay, so I have my nuts and my fruit. I think I'm gonna sit outside for a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna sit out here for a little bit, do some work on my phone, answer some emails, and enjoy my little fruit cup before I head to this. I'm going to a creator event tonight, um, which should be fun to meet people and just connect and stuff. It's in an hour, but I'll probably make this chicken have dinner, change, and then head out there. And I need to edit this vlog. Definitely giving myself a lot of grace lately with, um, all the changes that are happening in life. And I, I finally feel like I'm starting to really get a grasp on Nashville and get involved and make friends and meet people and be in the scene. So that's been really cool because that's exactly what I wanted. And it's crazy that it's been almost a year since I moved here. It truly feels like, I don't know, it feels like not like yesterday, but not a year ago. <laughs>